Hey y'all, it's Jess with Dawn's Press-Ons, and I am going to show you how to make this really cool, super reflective, um, like ultra holographic iridescent nail, okay? So the first thing we need to do is you have your nail. Um, so I am using this like all-in-one step thing. It's base, polish, and top coat, but the top coat will not work for the chrome. So, but we're gonna use it anyway because it's an awesome like super super opaque white thank you the pigmentation of it is awesome and again when you do white you don't want it super thick so all of that up there i'm gonna just move straight on down the nail the reason you don't want white or black super thick is because they are so pigmented, the light cannot cure them if they are thick, and then you'll end up with ripples or bumpies, or it won't cure all the way, and it'll just look gross. So, get it nice and thin, even coat. All right, put her in the lamp, let her cure. All right, now mine is cured. Mine does not have any tacky layer on it or anything, but um, if yours did, that's fine. You don't have to remove it. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a top coat on it. I like Outshine when I do chrome. Um, it just seems to hold the chrome the best. It's a nice, thick um, top coat. So when you pick your top coat for your chrome, and you will want it to be different because when you top coat it, it can sometimes get glitter in it afterwards when you re-top coat it. So you might want to keep the same one always for your chrome. Um, anyways, so we have this top coat. We're going to make sure that we get our sides really good because wherever you don't get this, you will not get chrome. Make sure we get the back, the front tip. All right, cure this for about 20 seconds. All right, so that is cured for about 20 seconds. Whatever, um, play around with your cure time to find out the perfect, uh, the perfect time for it for a chrome. Um, every top coat's different, but normally it's half cure time. But for the outshine, I like it at 20 seconds. All right, so the next we're gonna get some of our chrome and we're gonna put it on here. Making sure we get all the sides, the front, Really rubbing it in, making sure we get it good and covered. Nice and shiny holographic. All right, that looks good to me. Um, the next thing we're going to do is pop that back in the lamp for another minute. All right, while that's in the lamp, what you want to do is get your piece of mylar, or this is technically a foil, um, but I find it doesn't transfer right. So I use it for mylar because that's basically what it is anyway. Anyway, so we're going to take it and we're going to cut thin strips all the way up. So I tried this with like these little scissors doesn't work it works so much better if you use big scissors just a you know helpful hint for y'all and they don't have to be like the same size they don't have to be perfectly even unless you're super OCD and you're like no they have to be then by all means you make them even but I couldn't figure out how to do that so I'm um, trying and trying not to cut my Glove tip. Let's do one more if it'll continue to go up. All right, there we go. All right, I got about five shreds, and that's about all that'll fit on a nail. So if you were doing all five nails or all ten nails this way, you'll need a lot more shreds, but me with just this we're doing good all right now that's done curing okay we have nice beautiful you're gonna take your brush you're gonna brush it off real good all right now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take base now this is my junk base um 
and it's my glitter junk base. It's the one that I use when I have glitter that's going to be mixed in possibly. So it's a base coat because we want it to stick to the bottom and we want it to stick to the top. Okay. So glitter down and you kind of want it a little bit of a schmoozy layer. So don't feel good. Don't feel bad about kind of um, laying it in there. Okay. All right. Now the next thing you're going to do, it's a little bit easier with tweezers. Okay. Grab your sheets of mylar. You're going to start to lay them down. Now I did not have a problem with these like wanting to poke up or anything, but hey, you know, you never know what's going to happen. All right. So there's one. Sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. That's a big one, but it'll go good right there. Don't get them too close to the side because you do want to kind of encapsulate them afterwards. You'll see what I mean. Oh, there's something on that one. Come on, get off. Okay. Alright, let me scooch that one up a little bit. You want room in between them, but not like a ton of room. I'm going to take this thin one. We're going to put that one right there. It doesn't even have to come all the way up. Okay. Just to add some dimension. Now we're going to cure it just like this. We're not going to snip anything off. All right. So those are done. Now we're just going to kind of trim off the ends, but you don't want to like trim them so close. I'm going to show you why. Okay, don't worry about if it has just a little bit hanging over. Because we, you'll see. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your top coat. Okay, I'm just gonna use this one because I already have it out, and it doesn't matter if there's glitter on it because we're doing a glitter nail. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, a schmoozy layer of top coat down. Now you could also do. A builder gel if you wanted that would be fine um, but I'm gonna do a top coat and just because that's what I have right now doing a nice thick layer of this to encapsulate those mylar strips and you're getting it all the way down here okay don't be scared to get it on those end pieces it'll help them to file them off okay if things are sticking up, it's okay. We're going to give this a rough buff at the end, and then we'll re-glaze it. Or top coat. Sorry. All right. That's going to cure now for another minute. All right. So now that's out. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get these uh, stickies off. Okay. And just like if you were prepping the nail and getting that little nail tab off, you're just going to kind of keep filing these down. Okay. Alright, so now what we're going to do is take the 180 and we're going to do a rough buff because I've got some things sticking out and um, I just want to make sure everything's, you know, nice and flat for our last top coat. Alright, so now what we're going to do is take a uh, lint-free wipe and some alcohol and we're going to get all that dust off. Alright, so we can kind of start to see how it's like going to be really, really pretty and beautiful. Alright, now we're going to take that top coat one more time and let's top coat this beauty. I really want you guys to see the shine. Hold on, let me get this dust off my hands so I don't risk putting it in my top coat. Alright, here we go. Let's get you in. There we go. That's perfect, I believe. Do you see how those colors just kind of light up? It's so, so pretty. Now, 
Now it's going to look ripply and that's not because the nail is ripply, it's the mylar. If you had any crinkles in your mylar, it's going to transfer and my mylar was quite crinkly. If you don't want those crinkles, you got to have straight, straight, straight mylar. And let me tell you, that is a pain to get. So, cap it. All right, I'm going to pop that into the lamp and then we'll show you the final product. A little blurb before um, the nails come back out. So I used some really random brand of um, holographic, uh, silver holographic chrome powder. But earlier I was trying this because I wanted to do a, a test one before. And I could not get this chrome to stick. So sometimes you kind of have to play around. It might be that you're setting your top coat in the lamp too long. It might be that your lamp is super, super strong and cures it very quick. So you need even less time than you think. Um, or you can, you know, I was down to putting that in sucker in for five seconds and I still could not get a, a good chrome. It came out patchy and like wouldn't stick. And I knew I was like, look, this should not be happening. So it was the chrome. As soon as I switched chromes, went back to my 20 seconds, it was like butter. So if you're fighting and fighting and fighting, it's probably your chrome. If you've tried lowering your times and stuff. So play around with it. It always takes a little bit of time and um, a learning curve. All right. The nail is done. Let's show you the final product. All right. Let's see if I can get her in focus. Where's my camera? There she is. But see how she just kind of glows in so many different ways. She's got the holographicness to it, and then that mylar just kind of brings another dimension and shift to it. It is so pretty. Like, it's even prettier in person than this camera is doing, uh, doing justice, so. Like, I wish you guys could see this in person. It's so, so pretty. Anyways, hope you guys have a great night.